My name is Samantha, and this is my husband, Adam. While I'm a nurse by trade, Adam stock trades, but we always make time for travel, good eats, and thrifting for profit. We hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Samantha. Today's video is going to be about top 10 thrifting for profit tips that work for Adam and I. Remember that these are just things that Adam and I do that we have seen that has worked for us over time. So here we go. Number one, the number one thing we do before we ever go thrifting, if it's outside of our city, is we look for fun things to do because we don't want to make the whole day about thrifting. Like it's just work we want to have fun for us it's always a challenge <laughs> to find gluten-free restaurants so i have kind of sort of made it like a game like which place can i eat that has really good gluten-free that's what we do we also look for beaches because we like to shell maybe finding flea markets um you know not too long ago we were driving up to sarasota and we saw a carnival that was going on and I wasn't feeling too good that day otherwise I would have stopped and gone to the carnival on our way thrifting so things like that number two read reviews before you go and I say do this with caution because remember that people that write reviews are generally angry you'll see happy reviews too but generally if people are satisfied they just don't write reviews at all they tend to be people who are angry about an experience that might have occurred to them. Negative reviews should not determine whether or not you should visit that shop. I do read reviews because what I'm looking for is a consistency on negative or positive reviews. If there is a consistent amount of reviews that are negative and for like mainly the same reason, I may chance it anyway it just really depends it might i might not make it a priority thrift store for the day is all i'm saying but if it's mostly positive reviews i'm running there i'm gonna go out there number three this is another one i kind of want to tread lightly with i personally do not tell people that i'm a reseller unless they ask if they ask then i'll be really honest about it because i think that's the best way to go about life is just being honest but i try not to go into detail about items that are in my cart or items that i'm looking for i'm thrifting for profit so recently um a lady saw me at one of the thrift stores like on my camera and all that and she just called me out and said are you a reseller and i said yes i am and she said don't you think that's unethical and my answer was just straight up no i don't I contribute quite a bit and the items that I that I resell are absolutely beautiful and I get good reviews on OfferUp and Mercari and eBay and locally so I don't think I'm being unethical I think that I'm contributing. Number four, thrift small towns. I can't stress this enough because competition is probably going to be uh, less out there and you're going to find really really unique pieces, really really unique items. Search for small towns give them your business they will actually really appreciate it. you can make some really great friends along the way number five wealthy towns are not necessarily the best places I'm not saying write them off absolutely go to wealthy towns go everywhere to thrift but I just want to say that don't like run to a town that's wealthy because you think that you're gonna get better deals because you likely won't. The prices will probably be higher than what you're used to, so that is to be expected, but the quality of goods might be better too. So, I mean, it's hit or miss. Number six, so if you've been to Goodwill lately, you might have noticed that the prices are going up. And you are correct you are not losing your mind they are going up all that means is that you just have to research a little harder and then just be a little pickier when you're trying to find items number seven do not hoard it puts a lot of stress on you and your family when you just stack up items everywhere and hoarding is just really unhealthy if you find yourself hoarding because you're not selling then you need to reevaluate how you're selling you need to check, Are is your shipping prices too high? Are you selling quality items? Are you doing good research? Are your prices too high? What are you selling? Make sure you don't sell damaged goods unless they are so absolutely beautiful and you think that you could resell it even if they're damaged a little bit because I have sold really valuable things with a little bit of chips in it. But anyway, 
I digress. So basically to go back to what I was saying, don't hoard. Items can get damaged also if they're piled up together. Dust will build up. So you want to make sure you dust the areas. Use a Swiffer. Number eight, use your best judgment. If I'm sitting there and it's in my cart and I keep going around around the store thinking about should I keep this item? Should I keep this item? Or I'm holding it in my hand and I keep thinking, should I keep this item? Should I keep this item? I put it back. In the beginning, when I was a first-time reseller, I just bought whatever I thought was beautiful. But now I'm very picky. If I have to think long and hard about it, I put it back. Number nine, look for things that are no longer being produced. For me, I'm really, really lucky with Anchor Hawking. Those little red ruby ones that they were really popular when I was a kid. Also, look for Ray Dunn. I know everybody's scooping up Ray Dunn, but there are certain Ray Dunn pieces that are rare. I think that this might be a little controversial. Please understand that this is what works for Adam and I. I am a full-time nurse. That is what I do. That is my bread and butter. I cannot quit my day job and become a full-time reseller. There are some really successful people and I am amazed by that and I strive to be just like them one day, but I do love nursing and I don't intend to ever um, quit. It. I love taking care of people. I think it's a privilege to take care of another human being. So that is what I do. And I resell as a side hustle. If you get as popular as some of these people on here, and if you are already there, I mean, that's amazing. Like, I hope you have a YouTube channel. Let me know so I can uh, watch you. I love falling asleep watching people thrift. It's just like, shout out to, uh, Thrifting Vegas. I love you, Tiffany. She is amazing. I love her so much. And Laura Caldwell, I love you so much as well. Thank you guys for being amazing and making my nights great because I just sit there and watch your videos all the time. Sincerely, thank you guys for supporting us. I will never forget the original subscribers. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for watching.